first time where you can truly have a real voice experience with a mobile broadband experience. Uh, and you have all of that rich content coming at you while you're still making voice calls. And so it really is different than anything else that's available um, today. So, Kareem, let's see if we can uh, get them to working with the simultaneous voice and data. Yeah, so what I'm going to try to show you guys is I'm going to make a phone call uh, to my friend Ryan. He lives here in, uh, in New York City. So I'm going to go ahead and dial the phone. And uh, there's Ryan. So and this is just a earbud. Yeah, so we've just hooked this up so you can hear the call. Hey Ryan, it's uh, Fareed and Kevin. How are you? Hey guys, how are you? Good. Hey, um, you know, I know this is kind of awkward. We're in the middle of this event, but uh, do you want to meet up for dinner later? You bet. Where do you want to meet? Uh, you know what? Uh, we don't know New York that well, but um, I'll tell you what. Uh, why don't we... Uh, well, you know what? We've got this book here. It's got a picture of a building. We don't know really what this picture is. Um, why don't I use my uh, Evo 4G and uh, let's, let's try to figure out what this is. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, my Google goggles and uh, pretend for a second that uh, you have a friend named Ryan and uh, you want to figure out where this building is. This could be a poster that you've seen in a subway station, it could be a magazine cover, it could be a book, it could be a monument that you're actually taking a picture of. What Google goggles does is actually a visual search engine uh, that uh, Google has stored a whole bunch of different visual pictures in their database and it allows you to go and search against that database and return results. So, hey, Ryan, you still there? I'm here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture with Google goggles of this building. And what the Evo 4G has done is it's taken a picture, it's scanned it instantaneously into the 4G network, it's returned to a website, and it has actually identified this as the Guggenheim. Man, should have known that. Was. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you guys saw how quick that wow. was. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, Ryan, I'm not exactly sure where the Guggenheim is, so why don't I just go ahead and click on the website. And uh, what it's doing is it's loading the website over the 4G network. And one thing you'll notice is that uh, this is a pretty big website. It's got a lot of animation, a lot of graphics. Uh, just like on your desktop, you can, you can scroll around. Uh, you can see all the different menu items. You can pinch and zoom. So it looks like that actually has flash content on there as well, so it's the real internet. Uh, yes, it is. Oh. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know what? We believe in the real internet experience, and that's what we're delivering with the Evo 4G. Uh, so the great thing is, uh, Ryan, I can actually tell you what the hours and uh, ticketing events are. Uh, you know what? It looks like we've missed uh, the uh, last time for uh, the exhibits there. So it's just dinner. Yeah, it's just dinner. Um, well, I guess what, uh, Ryan? We'll meet you in about 20 minutes once we're done with this shindig. Sounds good, guys. See you then. All right. Talk to you later. Um, All right. Bye-bye. See ya. So the one thing uh, we forgot to uh, figure out how to get the Guggenheim to meet him. Yeah, that's a pretty good point, Kevin. Uh, you know, one thing we need to do is, um, you know, we need to figure out where the closest subway is because I bet that's probably the fastest way to get there. Yep. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my Layer Reality Browser. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Layer, what it is is it's an augmented reality browser. And what it does is it takes your GPS location and it uses the camera and the phone and it actually gives you visual overlays of where things are based on where you are. So uh, there's a filter in here for uh, the, the locus subway lines and where they're located at. But this could easily be other uh, filters that Lear has in here like local restaurants, bars, whatever you may have uh, wanting to look for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And what it's doing is it's actually using our GPS location and it's actually returned the closest subway station. So if you notice, there's a horizon here and as I move it, it actually shows an overlay of where the different subway locations are and how far they are. So if I turn it, if you notice in the top right hand corner, it says there's a subway uh, location. It's uh, 42nd Street and 8th Avenue and it's about 868 meters away. So for those of you from New York, you're probably very familiar with it. Uh, so the other thing I can do is I can actually click here, and it will actually take me to a map. It will show me where I'm at in relative to that location. And if I want, since I've never been here before, it will actually even give me navigation directions and a physical street map wow. seamlessly if you've never been there so you can identify it. 
Yeah. So anyone knows how fast that loads up? Uh, that really does change how you use navigation on your device in the mobile setting. So, Farid, it looks like uh, we're going to have a few minutes. Uh, so clearly we're going to take the subway over to the Guggenheim Meet Ryan. We're going to have a few minutes of downtime. Now, we could do work. Um, you know, since Dan's here, we'll tell him we'll be doing some emails, some productivity apps on our Evo 4G, but uh, any other, like, entertainment things we could do to pass the board? Well, you know, my, my big thing is we should probably do some games. Um, you know, the one big thing on Android that, you know, a lot of people have been asking for is the gaming experience. And really what we're going to be able to deliver with Evo 4G at launch is uh, an example of that here today is uh, Need for Speed Shift. It's a new game from Electronic Arts that will be available at the time of the launch of Evo 4G, and it really uh, shows the capabilities of this device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start up this game, and you can actually see with this 4.3 inch screen, uh, it really highlights the great power of the 3D capabilities of the phone, as well as the one gigahertz processor. And you know this is the way gaming is meant to be done on this huge screen. You can really kind of get into the game. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing too Absolutely, much. I think I speak for everyone in New York and say we're glad you're taking the subway Great tonight, and, uh, <laughs> not driving the car. Uh, but if you were going to drive the car, uh, we have some special accessories. I mentioned the docking station for HDMI earlier. We also have a uh, uh, accessory for the car that you can dock the device in your car. It automatically switches the Evo 4G into a safe mode for the vehicle so it does navigation, voice search, voice dialing. Uh, it really helps for people who are uh, safety conscious and trying to have the mobile experience in a car without, uh, uh, without having any uh, safety problems. So uh, also available when we launch the device. Uh, so uh, Freedom, we, uh, one of the features that we announced at CTI when we launched the, the Evo 4G or announced it was this ability to have a mobile hotspot. Uh, so with the Evo, you can actually connect eight users simultaneously to the device using Wi-Fi, and it really becomes a mobile router. So what uh, devices do you have connected? Well, uh, the great thing is, uh, you know, because you can connect other Wi-Fi devices, and there's millions of Wi-Fi devices out there, um, I can take something like this iPad, uh, which has Wi-Fi, and it's connected via the Evo 4G to our 4G network. And uh, what we're streaming right now is actually content from ESPN uh, on the iPad via the Evo 4G. Um, at the same time of doing this, uh, we actually also uh, have this picture frame here that uh, has, is downloading high quality, high uh, big file size pictures from Snapfish over our 4G network via the Evo 4G, all at the same time. And then to the right here, you actually see a laptop that's actually streaming live security camera content from the Annapolis, Maryland Police Department uh, via the Evo 4G. So when you combine all of that together, you can have up to eight connections all using a single uh, mobile broadband uh, network. And uh, you know, the Evo 4G is just that good, Kevin. It can power other devices. Um, you know, I would even probably say for a lot of you who have this phone, uh, it can even power uh, the iPhone 3G. Wow, that's amazing. So even here in New York, I could get a real signal and stay connected on my iPhone using the Evo 4G. Yeah, that's, that's really how good the Evo 4G is. It's, uh, it takes care of the whole show. So. Oh, that's nice.